Jump. Well, good morning, boys and girls. It's great to be back again for another SJK online. But before we get into anything else, let's go first to get our warm up video from Peter again. So we're going to go to Peter now, and you got to get ready, get warmed up, and ready to go. So let's go over to Peter. Oh, come on, Leeds. Come on. The best of Europe. Yes. Remember this well. Get in. Go! Yes! 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 Oh, who's that? Dad, it's time. It's time. I was just watching, I mean, I was just reading Jonah. Oh, very interesting. Okay, everyone, time for our fitness video today. Come on outside into the garden. Okay, today all you need is to have a ball for this. If you've got a ball, you can take one outside. Try this later, maybe. 118, go fetch me that ball, please. 118, you got your ball? What can you do with a ball? You can bounce the ball. That'll keep you fit. You can do knees up, tippy uppies. How many of those can you do? You can also put a, a ball on your neck. See if you can balance it. Here you go, 118. You try to balance that. We're gonna have lots of fun uh, with football. The football season might be over. At Leeds, may not get up, but doesn't matter. Let's just have fun with football. And first thing we're gonna do is do up and over. Uh, Jonah went up and down into a ship. We're gonna have an up and down here with this ball. Let's just use this ball here. And we'll go over and under. So you start us off. One, one, eight. Three, two, one. Go. Over. Under. Over. Under. And stop. So you can do this in your garden. You could form a big line. Maybe go the whole way around your house with this. Okay, one, one, eight. You go into goals. How did you get on last week, everyone? With the plank. Did you enjoy the plank? We had lots of planking going on. Can you see that? But for this week, all you're going to need is a brush. Hope you've been good, doing a bit of brushing at home, heavily out with whoever's there. Now with your brush, you need to uh, get a ball lined up. Thanks, 118. And we're going to spin around the brush, uh, the brush, put your head down for 10 seconds, then try to take a penalty. See how possible this is. I don't think it is, but as fast as you can. Who's going to count with me? Going to count? Three, two, one, go. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Whoa! <laughs> Scored! Did I score? Oh, oh okay. One one eight year ago now. Let's get you something a bit smaller. That brush is a bit bigger. Just anything. It can make you dizzy. Put your head down. Have a go. Ready? Three, two, one, go! One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Go! Penalty! Oh, he missed as well! He's so dizzy. So that's your challenge this week. All you need is a brush, a ball. You can have plenty of fun. Stay fit, stay healthy. And we're going to go again. Who wants to have another go? You have a go. Go into goals one more minute. Ready? Three, two, one, go! One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Shoot, one on it, shoot! Way! Thank you very much for, hope you've enjoyed this video and have a great week. Thank you. Bye bye from me and bye bye from one on it and one on it. Well, boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed that warm up video, but now we're going to go and we're going to sing a wee song. And this is a new song, boys and girls. I don't think we've heard of this song before. But it's called Never Be Shaken. And it also it, it's all about how we can put our trust in God, who's always there for us. So let's sing this song.
so next thing we're going to do is we're going to go over to Luke and Emily's house because they're the ones that are bringing us the weekly challenge and then after that Zach and Enya have another few wee jokes for us to make us laugh so let's go on over now for this challenge all you need is half a cereal box and the aim is to get it off the floor with your hands behind your back using your mouth and then to put it on the table Result. What's the crack with Enya and Zach? Why was the cat scared of the tree? I don't know. Because of the bark. <laughs> what did the last Egyptian say? I don't know. I love my mommy. <laughs> Cut! Well, thank you, Luke and Emily, and thank you. Uh, Zach and Enya as well, but for now, now we're going to go over to Naomi because Naomi is bringing us an urgent weather forecast. So off we go to Naomi. Oh. Hello and welcome. Today's weather forecast brings. Heavy rains, strong winds, and stormy weather. It seems like this storm will not be going away anytime soon. Let's hope that nobody is in a boat sailing to Tarsh Tarshish. That is all, all from me, Naomi, coming to, coming to you from the town of Jaffa, signing off. Well, thank you, Naomi, for that great weather forecast because, yes, there's a storm coming in our story today, and it's not good news for Jonah. But have any of you boys and girls ever been in a storm before? Maybe you're in your car at the time, maybe you're on a plane, or maybe you're even in a boat, just like Jonah. Well, storms can be dangerous and scary sometimes, can't they? And Jonah was in a bit of a hard situation here in this story today because he's stuck in the storm in the middle of the ocean. But in this story, we're going to find out a couple of wee lessons that we can take um, from this wee bad situation that Jonah found himself in. But let's just remind ourselves, boys and girls, about what we learnt about last week because we learnt all about who Jonah was, didn't we? We learnt that he was a prophet. And prophets were people who were chosen by God to go and tell the people of Israel, you know, what will happen to them if they don't return to God and follow him. But Jonah was given a special task by God, wasn't he? Because he was told by God not to go to the people of Israel, but to go instead to the people of Nineveh, who were not God's chosen people. And so when Jonah heard this, he was a wee bit scared because he didn't know what way the people of Nineveh would react if he said to them that they needed to turn to God. But more importantly, he was angry with God. He was angry with God because he didn't want these people to be saved. Because he knew about all the bad things that the people of Nineveh were doing. And so instead of obeying God and going to the people of Nineveh, Jonah decides to disobey God. And go the opposite direction and run away from him. And so that's where we left our story last week. With Jonah in a wee town called Joppa. And he had just paid the money to the captain to climb aboard his ship and sail to Tarshish. 
So let's continue to continue this story, boys and girls, and find out what God does um, when Jonah tries to escape him. And so Jonah climbs aboard the ship and he sits down and he thinks to himself, yes, I am going to escape God and escape this special task that God has given me. And so Jonah waits for all the other sailors to get on board. And when the captain sees that everybody is on board, he pulls the anchor up and he sets sail for Tarshish. And after a wee while, they find themselves in the open ocean. The town of Joppa was so far away behind them that they couldn't see, see it anymore. All they could see was open ocean. And it was then, boys and girls, that God sent a mighty wind upon the sea. And this mighty wind created a massive storm. And the storm threatened to break apart the ship because it was so powerful. And the sailors on the ship were so scared. They thought to themselves, this ship is going to break apart and we're going to be lost at sea. What are we going to do? And they thought to themselves, let's pray. Let's pray to our own gods and see if they will help us. And so they got on their knees and they lifted up their hands and prayed to their own gods. But nobody answered them. And that was because, boys and girls... They were praying to the wrong gods because there's only one true God and that's our God, the God of the Bible. And so after they realized that this wasn't working, that praying to their own gods didn't work, they thought, well, what could we do? And then they saw all the cargo, all these different things that were on the ship. And they said, yes, we're going to throw all the stuff overboard into the sea to make the ship a little bit lighter. So maybe the ship won't sink. And so they started picking up all the boxes that they had on the ship and throwing them overboard into the sea. And after they had thrown everything they could off the ship, it didn't make a difference. The ship was still nearly breaking apart because of this storm. And after that didn't work, the captain went below deck to find Jonah sleeping. Jonah was sleeping in the middle of this storm and the captain thought how can this man sleep and so he woke him up and he said Jonah how can you sleep get up and call to your God maybe your God will take pity on us and save us and so Jonah got up and we'll find out next week what he does but boys and girls what can we learn from this story what can we learn to take away from today? Well, boys and girls, there's two things that we can take from this story. The first thing is that God disciplined Jonah. Jonah was given a task by God. And instead of obeying God, he runs away. He doesn't want to do what God wants him to do. And so God disciplined Jonah by sending this storm upon the boat. And in the same way, your parents would discipline you. Maybe you were told by your parents to uh, clean your room. Or maybe you were told by your parents to pick up the toys that you've left behind in the living room. Well, if you didn't do those things, your parents would discipline you by maybe taking a toy away or maybe um, taking your pocket money off you. Your parents do this because they love you so much. And in the same way, God would discipline us when we disobey him. And that is because God loves us. It tells us that in the Bible, boys and girls, that God disciplines the ones that he loves. So that's the first point. The second point is that God not only sees all things, but he's in control of all things. And that includes the weather, like we see in this story. And so that means that we can put our trust in God, knowing that he is in control of everything. Now this doesn't mean that we won't have hard times in our life. Because I've had hard times. I've had loads of hard times. And I'm sure your parents have as well. And I'm sure maybe you have sitting there at home. 
But God promises one day to make everything new. God promises to come back one day and bring us home to live in heaven with him. And so that's what we can look forward to, boys and girls. And we have to we have to look to obey God um, in everything he's told us to do. So thank you for all listening so well. And we're going to go over now and we're going to uh, learn the memory verse again. And Sarah's going to bring us that. So over to Sarah. Today I'm going to be teaching you our memory verse and the memory verse today is from Psalms chapter 139 verses 7 and 8. So if you have a Bible at home and you open your Bible in the middle, you usually come to Psalms. Okay, so maybe after this is, um, after you've watched this, you can go and look in your own Bible and look up Psalm 139 verses 7 and 8. Maybe jot that down now on a bit of paper so you can look that up later on. So I'm going to tell you what the memory verse is today and then we'll practice saying it together. So here it is. Where can I go from your spirit? Where can I flee from your presence? If I go up to the heavens, you are there. And if I make my bed in the depths, you are there. So what is that memory verse talking about? So there's a couple of questions at the beginning. If you look in your Bible, you'll see the question marks. Where can I go from your spirit? So the writer is asking, where can I go where I won't be near God, where I'll be away from God? And what is the answer? The answer is nowhere. God is everywhere. God is with us all the time. So we can't go anywhere to flee from God. Okay, so let's say the verse again all together. Where can I go from your spirit? Where can I flee from your presence? If I go up to the heavens, you are there. And if I make my bed in the depths, you are there. Psalm 139 verses 7 and 8. Okay, boys and girls, now it's time for the craft. So what you're gonna need to do this craft today is a toilet tube. So at the end of your toilet roll, you get these wee tubes. You can take one of those. You need a wee piece of paper. You need some colored paper and string, okay? And um, you need some other string. And then you need coloring pencils and some glue. It's really easy. Well, the first wee step you want to do is to take your toilet roll and to take your piece of paper and to roll your piece of paper around the toilet roll tube. And when you reach the point where all the paper is covering the tube, you would cut that bit off there. And then that means that this whole piece of paper will be able to go around the tube. Next thing you want to do is take that piece of paper back and then I want you to draw onto the piece of paper the C like I've done here. So the C, you could draw the clouds, you could draw the rain, you could even draw a wee boat um, for Jonah uh, to represent Jonah's boat. And now I've got the sun just there. So you could do all that and then you can colour it in. And when you're finished colouring it in, what you want to do is to tape it together. So see, I've wrapped it around and I've taped it together there, okay? So then after that, what you want to do is take your colored pieces of paper and glue each of the wee pieces of paper and stick them on the inside of your toilet tube. If you don't have glue, you can do this with sellotape as well. Like, I'm putting a photo up of how you could do it with sellotape as well. So, when you're finished with that and all your wee pieces of paper are on the inside, hanging out like that, then what I want you to do is to take another piece of string and to tape that on the inside of the top of your wee craft so that you can hang it up somewhere in your house. And after that's done, the last wee thing that I want you to do is to take a wee printout of your memory verse and to tape it to a wee piece of string like I've done here. You could even put it up here 
as well or up here but I've put it on the bottom here on a wee piece of string so that's really it that's really easy really simple craft and hopefully it's easy enough that you could find all the stuff you need around your house all right that's the craft hope you enjoy it okay so we're gonna sing another wee song boys and girls and this one's called God is bigger and it talks all about how God is bigger than all our problems and we can trust and put our faith in him. So let's sing together. Sometimes life can get us down. Things that happen make us frown. Slip on a banana skin. Trip and fall into a bin. Sometimes we just wonder why. Tell each other God is bigger God is stronger Than anything that could ever go wrong God is faithful God is loving Working in us to make us like His Son People make us sad, wind us up and make us mad Call us names or pull our hair, laugh about our underwear Sometimes we feel on our own, things that happen make us grow Nothing seems to go our way, but we can always tell each other We can always tell each other Okay, boys and girls, there's one more thing that I just need to talk to you about, and that is the boat competition I set for you last week. If you can remember, I was make for the craft we were making a wee boat. Um, I'd ask you to make your wee boat back at home and make it as creative as you could make it, and then send me a picture of your boat. Well, I've got loads of different pictures from all of you, and it's fantastic to see all of you trying your best to make this boat and all of them are great but unfortunately there can only be one winner and so the winner of this boat competition is Lydia well done Lydia so Lydia you're gonna be getting a wee prize in the post and that'll hopefully reach you sometime next week and Lydia has prepared a wee video for us so we're gonna listen in and see what this wee video is Well, boys and girls, thank you all for entering that competition. And for all those who didn't win, do not worry, because there's always more prizes to be won. And next week, I'll be telling you about a new competition that you could get a prize from. So, look forward to next week, and thank you all for tuning in to SJK Online. See you later.